everyone, this is a gray shot once. I'm giving you a review, a TV show review of Inuyashiki. So continuing my trek through Amazon Prime's new lineup of anime that essentially is just like, hey, it's off anime strike, so I can watch it. Inuyashiki. Um, and no, it's not Inuyasha. In case you were like, oh, it's wait, you mentioning this show? No, it doesn't have samurai and uh, cat people and stuff like that. Don't yep, relax. Uh, Inuyashiki stars an old man. That is a robot, and that was hit by a UFO, and now a superhero. And this guy's like, looks like he's in his 70s. Interested yet? Well, you should be, because god damn is this guy good. Um, again, the whole story is involving him with his humanity and his family. Because again, in the beginning, if you thought Brian Cranston had a bad backstory, well, prepare to cry after hearing this guy's backstory. And how just depressing it is. And it's not necessarily as, like, the same events as Brian Cranston. I, I mentioned that from uh, Breaking Bad, just simply because of the fact, like, Walter White and this character kind of go hand-to-hand. -hand, except instead of dealing drugs, it's UFO. And, I, and again, it's like, what? But if you're wondering, alright, if Inuyashiki is this robot and he's trying to do good, what's the antagonist? Well, it goes from everyone to comedy thugs to Yakuza members to hero and who's hero another person hit by the same ufo at the same time when both of them were accidentally were just like when the ufo were like oh shoot we hit uh intelligent life forms uh just put them in these mech suits or robots and they're like uh isn't that the uh, advanced art like artificial um war suits that we have it's fine doesn't matter and i, I think they even mentioned they can blow up a planet so it's like yeah so well Inuyashiki is like, I'm gonna help people. Uh, Hero's like, well, I really don't have much humanity left. I wonder if I just start killing people, if that would bring it back. Oh, cool. Uh, I'll kill you today. Yeah. And by the way, his weapon of choice is this. And you're saying, oh, great shot. Is, you mean a gun? It's like, no, it's hand. He just goes like this and he says bang. And I'm like, Really? Is that supposed to be all that threatening? And it becomes the most threatening thing in this show. And again, it's just his finger, essentially. That's all he does. And for some reason, he shoots invisible bullets at people. And it's, once again, terrifying. And once again, Iyashiki and Hiro, who's younger, he's like in his early 20s, late eight, like teens, um, slowly gains more and more power. They become more and more dangerous, whether to the enemies, such as the Yakuza members, or to the police for hero and it just builds and builds and builds and both of them are just like the perfect representations of both sides like again this this show can be gray in some instincts but the hero and villain are some of the most clear-cut hero and villains i've seen in quite some time and it's not a bad thing by any stretch of the imagination but yeah hero does some pretty nasty stuff the, by the second episode you despise this kid and I'm being completely honest. This kid is a monster in all shapes of the word. Like, oh boy. Like, I'm not, again, without spoilers, he he's fucking terrifying and to any person that crosses him. Where Inuyashiki is like, I'm going to try. And it's also great because he's, once again, an old man. He's like in his 50s. I think he's 58. And he's like, I'm going to fight you. And he's doing these old man, like, really, like, slap type moves but then of course when he hits somebody he goes flying across also most of the time he's actually just like he doesn't have a shirt on so seeing this like not even buff just like kind of like skinny old man like running down and helping people is hilarious in its own right but again he has a good heart and i love that about it so of course um as the story progresses it's only 11 episodes and that's it that's all there's gonna be they can't i believe they canceled the manga and uh yeah that's there isn't gonna be a second season but, yeah, I highly, highly recommend this anime. There is a problem, though. While the opening is good, and the soundtrack is very good as well, as, like, the score is fine, the animation, there's problems with. And this is the... The story and everything is great, if not a little rushed toward the end. The animation is something we have to talk about, because, oh boy, they use 3D animation. And it's fine for some parts, but it looks terrible in others. Like, there are p moments where it's like they're fighting and it's like, this is not rendered. This looks terrible. And again, for what they are trying to do, I appreciate that. But once again, when I look at, like, Land of the, uh, 
Land of the Lustrous, I think is what it's called, another anime show, and like that 3D animation, or even Ruby, which is a web series animation, it looks worse. It's like really like, it's like really stilted and doesn't look that great. Some scenes it works, and some scenes I can buy it, but it mixes a mixture of 3D and 2D animation. And 2D is fine, but it's also not mind-blowing. It looks good. It's not great. It's not like another show, which I'll talk about probably a little later. But anyway, even with that, what do I rate this show? It has some of the strongest, like, individual hero and villain character I've seen in quite some time. The story is great, the soundtrack's good, and overall the animation for 2D is good, 3D is okay. So if I had to give it a score, I would probably give it probably around an 8 out of 10. Because once again, I can buy through the animation if the story is good enough. And oh my god, is it good enough. The, the Again, the hero-villain dynamic of this show is fantastic. And they go into so much detail about all these aspects you wouldn't think... Uh, well, I guess you would think of, but you wouldn't think how it would be approached. Now, once again, they also have a Donald Trump impression, which is hilarious. So just take note on that. And also, they have one of the best family dynamics that I've seen with um, Inuyashiki and his family and how it kind of goes around. I really appreciated that, and that kind of just closed out that series really well. But in any case, going on to spoilers. We're in spoilers now. So yeah, they have Donald Trump, and it's an English impression, and it's hilarious. I, I, again, I just had to put that up. Um, Hero, and by the way, in the second episode, you're like, oh, how could he be so bad? He murders a wife cooking dinner, goes into the bathroom where a father is washing his son. He's like one or like, I would say like two years or less. Like it's a real like toddler. The to like toddler is barely able to talk. And then the kills the father after saying, I will kill your son. So the father's weeping, trying to protect his son after slowly being shot piece by piece off him. The father then collapses from again, being shot onto his son and kills his son not hero he physically falls on his son his son's able to able to push up his father and dies from drowning he then walks in on the daughter who comes in after all this and has, starts to have a conversation and slowly tells her daughter yeah i killed your family hey what do you like do you like this do you like this manga what about this tv show oh that's cool nothing okay kill you and walks away that's it. That sequence is some of the most like gripping, like, oh God, moment I've seen in anime so far. Cause it's just like, they linger on shots and they linger on people on pain. And that's just, like, cool. You're in pain, awesome. I get some enjoyment out of this. Yeah, it's fucking terrifying. That again, and Hero, like he kills an entire police station, the SWAT team. Cause again, bullets don't affect him for whatever reason. Uh, they also, you have the flip side where amazing sequence where Inuyashiki fights off Yakuza. There's also a, another character I do want to mention because he kind of is a little bit spoiler on how he goes back and forth. Um, oh boy, Naoki? I'm hoping I'm getting that name correctly. He's a friend of Hiro who slowly sides with Inuyashiki, which again, why they want to mention it in a non-spoiler. But I really, really enjoyed his character because you got to see his like rationale from being bullied and kind of siding with Hero initially to being like, Hero just killed people. I can't, I can't side with you anymore. And then his final like interaction with Hero is awesome because he's just being like, I can't talk to you about the stuff we used to talk about. You're a monster. Get the, get the heck out of here. And he knows like Hero could kill him. And he's like, I don't like kill me. I don't care. I'm not gonna talk with you. I'm not gonna deal with you. And again, that moment was fantastic. The whole hero slash Inyashiki fight that they do in episode 10, along with the plane sequence, which is like 9-11, just like with a dozen more planes, is frightening and awesome. Because again, it's like Hiro's trying to bring Tokyo down, and like Inuyashiki is like, I will save every one of them. And, he, and again, when he does, and he's landing these planes down, you're like, yes. Because this show is dark, but there are certain episodes like episode four with the Yakuza or that episode where it's like you think certain people are going to die and they go against the trope and they don't. But then there's plenty of times where, they, yeah, people die. They get murdered. They get butchered whatnot. And it's horrifying. And there's also a cop who's like hero will not kill. So he's like one of like 60 cops who is left alive. And he's just watching. He's like, kill me. And he's like, no. And hero just walks off. And it's like that is, uh, again, brutal. This show is very brutal. I will state that. But again, it's very good. I wish the animation was better. That's the only thing. I just wish it was better. Because there are moments where I'm like, 
there are 90s cartoons with equal animation to this and that's 3d animation that's kind of bad but it, it sometimes it can hold up and look a little bit newer and better and the fight scenes are good so i'll give it that but in any case, that's going to be the end of my review. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to some gray shot 17 and my cat. You can see in the bottom left hand corner or right, I guess, wherever you're watching us. And I'll see you next time. Hey guys, and before I go, I want to give a special shout out once again to Joey, Ace, Sean, Sejones, Leonard, Lou, Nick, Levings, and Tim. Thank you all for your awesome support, and I'll see you guys next time.